I can tell you that the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children are not expected at the Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Uh, behind me, as you said, there's been a huge outpouring of love and support for the Princess following her cancer diagnosis and her public message to the British public and indeed the world yesterday. And there were flowers laid at the gates of Windsor Castle early this morning. The flowers have been taken inside the grounds. I do understand the Princess has been informed that of, of the outpouring of support here physically in Windsor this morning. Earlier on, I spoke to a GB News viewer, Anne Anderson, who happens to be in Windsor, about the princess and her announcement last night, and this is what she said. I mean, to sit on that bench on your own, making an announcement to the world, that was hard, wasn't it? It was hard. Yeah. And she, she did it very well. I mean, she's so lovely. I mean, everybody's really stunned, aren't they? And we just said it was so quiet um, in the town last night, very quiet. People walking around, but wherever we went, they were talking about it, weren't they? Murmured voices. Even at breakfast this morning in the hotel, they were talking about it. Just complete shock. And of course, it's very hard for Prince William as well, because his father and his wife have cancer. That's right. Yeah, it's scary for him, isn't it? It really must be scary. You know, and everybody, all the speculation about why he dropped out that day of his godfather. I mean, if that was the day they got the news, goodness gracious me. You know, that must have been horrendous. It mustn't it, you know, just, oh, it's just awful, the whole thing. What do you think of all the speculation surrounding the princess over the last three months and the harassment? Just dreadful. Spiteful people in this world, aren't they? You know, and it's not necessary, is it? It's absolutely not necessary. Neither of them deserve it. Hasn't he been through enough, that boy? You know, yeah. what with his brother and all I hope is his brother doesn't come back. He's not needed here. You know, his wife's not needed here. I think someone at breakfast this morning was saying they're, they're holding out the olive branch and they think this might be the, their way back in. We don't need them. He's made it absolutely clear how he feels about his family, so go and don't come back. You know, so that's honestly how I feel. But we all wish and hope that she gets better as quickly as possible. Well, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have released a statement. They say, we wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. We know William and Catherine's priority is their three young children, Prince George 10, Princess Charlotte 8 and Prince Louis 5. And they wanted to tell their own children in their own way, in their own time. And following the fact that all three of them are now on their Easter holidays, Princess Catherine thought now is the right time to tell the world about her cancer diagnosis because the children can have the protection at home without having to go to school. Uh, they're not giving us any information as to exactly uh, where they are spending time. They understandably don't want us to speculate, but their priority is clearly the Princess of Wales receiving the treatment she needs and recovering and surrounded by her family.